And here we go. Boulevard Royal Coronas. Now, as soon as I opened Steve's package, the first thing I saw, first thing I realized was, beside the fact that the embossing on the box itself is horrendous, um, which does not make it fake, because I've seen a lot of Boulevard boxes that there, there is more embossing than you could probably see on this picture here. Uh, but the metals are basically just coins with lumps on them. You know, you can't tell what they are at all. Um, but, hell, fake box? I really don't think so because it would have taken a hell of a lot of work to put this together. Um, all the right tape is there. There are embossed dots on the on the edge design, which is basically, uh, I don't know what to call it, sticky paper that's been put on the box. The right way, you can see all the proper folds were made. Um, goes all the way around. Okay, you have your sticker here, all of our Royal Coronas, made by hand. I wish I had um, a box, that I, a known real box to compare this to was wondering about the font on Made by Hand right there. Again, I'm not particularly sure. I do not have a box of these. I'm so interested at this point, actually, that I'm going to order a box of these from a known good vendor and see what we get. But let's go through what discrepancies I found. Um, this is a big one. Can it happen? I guess so in haste, but I've never seen a box like this. Anybody know what's wrong? I'll give you two seconds. Look at that. That Cuban seal is adhered nowhere near where it should be. Uh, every box I get from known good vendors, this seal is always bent at the middle of the crest at the edge of the box, where the box opens and closes. Not where it is right now. Also, the band is not straight. Sorry, the band. The government seal is not straight. It's a little crooked. Uh, is it a real government seal? Yes, and I'll show you how I know that in a minute. But adhered just very sloppily. I, You know, in a way, that almost may mean it is legit. I mean, maybe factory worker, maybe they were pumping out a ton of these. I don't know. They were just slapping them on. Who knows? That's the problem. Who really knows? You can't tell from one problem like that. You can't say, oh, it's fake. It's not bent there. Well, it should be bent there. It's not. So that's a, that's a point off, okay? But whatever. That's as much as it can go. The hologram is genuine. There are your two little semi-cutout discs right here. If you ever look at the hologram closely, there are little tiny incisions, circular, kind of like a half paper punch mark. Um, that if you were to rip this thing off, it would kind of break there. Um, those are there. And I'll show you something I have not done before on other boxes. Yep, we are going back to the 80s. But for good reason, otherwise I never would. Check it out. we got a black light here. And what you're seeing, that glowing is the Cuban seal, just like the Cuban seal that is at the front of the government seal, a little bigger, and probably not easy to see on this video again, but if you were to look at this closely like I am, there is a lot of detail in it. This thing definitely isn't somebody drawing with fluorescent ink. Um, could they reproduce a stamp? I, at this point, these counterfeiters can do anything, I'm sure. I'm going to also tell you about a little website I found that makes me so angry, so livid, that would anybody who knows about it, they're going to be pissed. And that's why I'm going to say, you know what, if we don't claim a fake website here today, uh, as far as shipping Cuban cigars is concerned, we're definitely going to claim someone who's a bogus asshole and deserves to be ripped off the net and strung up by their nuts. Okay? So I'll tell you about that in a second when we get to bands. But anyway, there you have it. Fluorescing, hologram, it's the right paper, right colors. It's legit. The seal is legit. 
All right, so once I got past the seal and the outer box, uh, I opened the box. Here's the nail. It is a uh, brass, quality brass nail, like it should be. Opening the box. Again, gold embossed. The embossing on the inside is a little bit better, especially on his jacket. The metals are a little lacking still, but I've seen real boxes that are just like so, so that's fine. Uh, at this point, I'm going to say this box is definitely real, okay? Because now I open this, and what do we have? The inside uh, second logo, which is highly embossed, gold-plated. The whole thing is embossed, the trees. This is beautiful. Actually, thank you, Steve. I'm going to rip this out and frame it. I have a little art thing going. Um, so we got that, and, of course, we have our little Habanos instruction sheet on rice paper, which I've held up to a known good one, and it is legit as well. Again, this can be faked. The seal can be faked. This is harder to do. And uh, unless this was taken from another box and glued in here, which I doubt, but that's that. So, so far we're pretty good. Then we get to this. Uh-oh. What do we have? Cedar sheet with no finger notch. This is like an American's worst dream. They fucking hate this shit. I hate this shit because I'm like, oh, no, now. But you know what? It does not mean they're fake. Um, like I said in videos before, it is much more common to get the rounded notch cut out. But according to many sources, this too is okay. Just a lot more rare. Why it happens, we may never know. It's not like Cubans are coming online and saying, hey, this is what we do at the factory. This is why this happens. Don't you wish they would? Has anyone ever seen a Cuban worker from a factory online saying how they do it and why? No. It's like, God, already. Let them out of the dark. Uh, anyway, you know what? I don't like it, but that's what it is. And this is the reason Steve uh, sent me the box in the first place. So, as far as uh, the cedar sheet, it is good, high-quality cedar. It's a little thick. Uh, a little thicker than usual. Um, it is cut out for the box really perfectly. Um, and is cedar, so that's that. That works. Piece of wax paper. That, I'm pretty sure, was between the two layers of cigars. Uh, maybe, I wish I could have seen how it's assembled. Maybe uh, on the top layer under the cedar sheet, or maybe between the two layers. Uh, I'm wondering if there was a gossamer wax paper ribbon across the bands, but that's not in here. If there was, a little bit of paperboard, or your 26th cigar, as I like to say. <laughs> uh, whatever, that's there. And then the inside of the box, you may notice that, wow, that's a clean-looking box, right? I mean, geez, looks like there was nothing ever in there. Um, and there's a reason for that, and this is something that kind of gets me thinking. If you turn the box over, we have our Habanos logo. It is burnt in. It is pressed in. The top part, the Habanos SA, is really almost not pressed in. It really kind of feels... I mean, it is, but very, very, very lightly. Not like this, not like this. And if I look really close at it, it's not somebody just hit it a little with a screwdriver to make you feel that it was. No, it's in there. Um, look at the date. October 2011. Okay? This video is being recorded February 2011. Me and Steve started talking about this box about over a week ago, still it was still January, the end of January, which means he got this box before January. I should look at the postmark, uh, and I'll let you know when he got the package, because the original postmarks are on there. But October, November, December, January. This box came from, was made in a Cuban factory, made it to a site, warehouse or something in Switzerland, and then here, 
all in three months? It seems kind of fast, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, so that bothers me a little, just the fact that the date is so young. Uh, but Royal Corona is a very popular cigar, very popular size. We didn't mention this, the Habano sticker here. Um, it is the right version. It is the right size. It is the right color. It is embossed. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's in the right position. Um, nothing wrong with that. So all in all, looking at everything in the box, you saw we had a few things that were a little, but nothing enough to say it's fake. Uh, we saw that the band was not bent at the seal. We saw that the cedar sheet did not have a finger notch, but a diagonal cut. We saw that the date is rather young. Again, proof of nothing really yet. Uh, and the embossing is a little lacking, but that's it. So, we're done with the box. Um, there's really nothing else that can be said about it. Let's move on to bands.